this episode, I am green with envy. The 55mm Prime. Let's have a look at that. Oh, <laughs> when did you get that? Last week. Landscape photography on location with Thomas Heaton. So that you can record the back of your camera. That's my bush salami. So let's now finally see what's in my bag. Vomiting unicorns. Why would they contact you for this? Oh, do you really want me to say on camera? Do you know what, love? I don't think there's anything more sad and tragic than a YouTuber that is so desperate for content that they actually resort to doing one of those what's in my bag videos. It's pathetic, really. You're gonna do one, <laughs> I am gonna do one. In fact, we're both gonna do one because uh, you've got your new camera bag and I've got my new camera bag. Yeah. So uh, who, who should we do first? How about you? Right, so my new Shimoda camera bag. Now I've had a lot of people commenting on the color and that is because when Shimoda said to me, what would you want in a camera bag? I said, I need something that's brightly colored so that I can find my camera when I'm on location, because I don't know about you, but there's been many a shoot where I've had to go rummaging through the bush. So they said to me, well, what color would you like? And I said, of course, I would like chicken korma, and specifically the chicken korma that you get at the Bismillah takeaway in Marsh, Huddersfield. <laughs> it's, it's a good feed. And lo and behold, they've made me this beautiful Action X 50 litre yellow camera bag, which it's not really yellow, it's, it's chicken korma. And then another great feature, apparently, about this camera bag is that they've made the waist strap more suitable for the slimmer fit. So I won't be using that one. So now let's get onto the strap pockets and what you can use them for. Now on here, you'll see I've got my bear spray because living in Canada, there's lots of wildlife and everybody knows that bears much prefer their meat to be somewhat spiced by a bit of pepper. So, you know, just doing my thing for the wildlife. They appreciate that. And then this used to be my twirl pocket where I would store all my twirls. But now that I'm on a diet, seeing as I have to be in order to make use of this slimline waist strap, it's celery time. Yeah, so now while I'm hiking, I can enjoy a nice, healthy, fresh stick of celery. Delicious. Right, let's flip this camera bag around, take it off, and I'll show you what's on the other side. As always, you've got these uh, straps on the side for whatever you want, whether it's a tripod or a, a water bottle or whatever. I, you've got them on both sides, so I use one side is for my uh, tripod, and the other one is for my vodka. <laughs> Sorry, my, my aqua. Yeah, so let's just take that out because this is painfully uncomfortable, this tripod. Let's put that there. And on this side, this is where I keep my beverage, and what I've got in here today is my chlorophyll. If you don't know what chlorophyll is, and I'm not going to mention any particular brand, um, it doesn't really matter which one you get. Chlorophyll is how you get your greens. If you're traveling, especially if you're, if you're going through North America and you're eating diner food, you're going to need your greens so that your arteries don't clog up. So I just get this highly concentrated stuff. You just add a little bit to some water, neck it, and then at least you get in your greens while you're on the road, which is something that's always difficult, especially with international travel. Now on this side of the bag, Shimoda said to me, what are the specifics of your camera bag? Like what size do you need? And what do you put in your pockets? And of course I said, it's gotta be big enough to fit a copy of Chasing Awe with Gavin Hardcastle. What a tremendous read this is. I mean, aside from the spectacular photographs that you'll find laced within this tome, there's all of the fantastic stories and anecdotes, some of which you might already be familiar with from watching this channel. There's a link in the description below. I highly recommend that you keep that in there at all times, especially when hiking up extremely high mountains. Now with this flap down, you can access these pockets here and you know, put whatever you want in, passport, celery, whatever. I never use them to be quite honest. And like every single Shimoda camera bag, there's a grotesque amount of straps that you can use to put whatever on there. 
you know, things like, I use these for hiking poles, just wind, wind them up like that. None of this other stuff ever gets used, but I guess you could use it if you were taking sleeping bags and doing a camping trip. But for me personally, I find that there's more straps than I could ever know what to do with. So the next thing I should do is show you what's in my camera bag. But before I do that, do you want to just show us your bag, love, from the outside? Oh, I'd love to. All right. So can you explain what the, uh, what the helium balloon is all about? It's actually a flotation device because we're always by water, so I can float on it. And uh, what else have we got here? What's in your phone pocket there? This is Sunshine, Care Bear, Pez. Just pop it right out of there with that little bear. Yep. It's the Pez dispenser. And we should point out that this is the ladies' camera bag. So it's got straps that are a bit more form-fitting to the female form. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> well, it's more suited for boobs. Yeah. So it could actually work for you. And what is that? That's my bush salami. What flavor is that? That's Parmesan cheese. I didn't really think this flavor through. I can smell it from here and I'm pretty sure the bears can as well. So it's a good job I've got the, the pepper for them to eat us. It's disgusting. Is it, is it cooked? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, no, I'm getting right into this. As you can tell, I was really enjoying my new diet. Well, I'm just getting to know my bag, but of course there's tripod holder. So what's in your uh, pocket there? Let's let's see what you got stowed in that little spot. Yeah, you wanna see? Yeah. Landscape photography on location with Thomas Heaton. What, why have you got that? Well, it's my favorite book. I thought you'd be carrying my book in there. This is the one I bring on location because it says on location. It feels like a bit of a betrayal, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry you feel that way. There's a link in the description below. There isn't a link. <laughs> there isn't a link, jeez. I think we should take this outside. It's, it's getting a bit warm in here. Let's go for some breezes. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's have a look at the inside of the bag. Before I do that, I'll just show you this feature I kind of like this it's got three handles so let's just say you put your bag down and you've even got it open but you might want to move it you can just use this handle and this handle to transport it to a different spot put it on a rock or whatever or if you want let's just say you've closed it back up you can grab this side handle and take off with that either way having three handles is pretty nice so let's now finally see what's in my bag and the first thing that you'll notice is a full frame sensor cleaning kit and that's simply because i shoot with sony cameras which are basically dust magnets i mean i might have abused the last one a little bit but they are if, if you shoot with sony you know that you basically have to use this every time you change lenses so i always <laughs> i always travel with one of those <laughs> So basically all camera bags these days, they have, they have these cubes, these sort of interchangeable compartments inside the bag. And, and I switch this up all the time, depending on what I'm shooting, where I'm going, and what I think I might need. So right now, I've got this telephoto on the A1, and that's just because I was shooting some foxes the other day. And then in this compartment, I've got the A7R4 with a super wide on it. I usually shoot with the telly, and a super wide and then if i'm if i'm lucky enough to get something that warrants it the 55 millimeter prime so there's my two cameras i've got these compartments here for accessories so for things like this uh, this remote shutter i've got some memory cards in that one over here i've got a hard drive to put all my images on when i'm traveling and of course some really important lens wipes. You have to have those just in case you run out of shit tickets. And then this little bag here for my filters. I'm using this pack of case filters right now. They're pretty decent filters. And then over here, I've got this uh, accessory bag. Let's have a look at that. Oh, <laughs> you weren't supposed to see that. If you're watching Preparation Hellfire, uh, get in touch, might be a, a good sponsorship gig there. What else we got? Oh, we got my... Uh, my backup camera to my backup camera, that's great. And then in here we've got our dust blower and then the absolutely vital headlamp. 
you absolutely need to have one of these if you're going out for sunrise sunset astrophotography it's a must so as i said earlier i change things up depending on when i'm going and what i'm doing so right now i only need this little accessories bag so all i've got in there is my wireless mic system uh, a usb cable for that hard drive in fact i can put that in there and some lens wipes in case i get caught short and of course at least one spare battery for these two cameras i kind of miss the days when i used to whinge about sony batteries they're actually pretty good now you don't need that many to get through a couple of days of shooting and also a real treat for the day is a little baby bell i mean it's not the best cheese <laughs> it's really not very good cheese but it's pretty much invulnerable in this wax wrapper in your camera bag you know two or 12 of those and, and you're good for most most trips oh and the laptop compartment this fits a 16 inch laptop with vomiting unicorns uh, it's quite a nice little padded pocket there now one thing that you might find yourself doing if you do have one of these camera bags <laughs> i've done this many times is i've just kind of done this and not realized it's not fully zipped up and i've just put it on my back to this day i've not yet lost anything i often realize afterwards oh i didn't even close it and i might even hike all the way back to my car with this not zipped up like i said nothing has been lost yet but it's not a, not a mistake that you want to repeat very often right let's have a look inside the top bit just pull that out right so these uh, these action x bags they have this cool roll top so you can just open this up chuck all kinds of stuff in and then when you're done just roll it down to whatever size it needs obviously there's a limit and then close it this is typically really good for things like warm jackets if you're going up a mountain and you just need some extra warmth but i usually keep my gloves these are those uh valorette fingerless gloves you can just peel the finger off supposedly for photography they're pretty good oh by the way i'm going to put links to all this stuff in the description below and these are affiliate links so if you do buy through those links i do get a little bit of money for that but it doesn't cost you any anything and it's just a nice way to help support the channel so of course <laughs> you've got to have your shit tickets right no no affiliate link for those that's not even gonna get you one <laughs> I, I need to get a sponsorship from from charmin ultra there's nothing better to wipe your your clay pipe than a bit of soft charmin ultra if you're watching charmin get get in touch because I, I go through a lot uh, a hat whatever hat you want to get oh you have to have one of these if, if you're in a, a bug infested swamp somewhere you're getting eaten alive again no no sponsorship thermocell and all of the uh quite expensive refills that you have to buy for them it ain't cheap but man it works i don't know what it's doing to me but <laughs> it seems to work another spare pair of socks you've really got to do that especially if you're standing in rivers like i do what else have i got oh this gadget right this is pretty cool so this little thing it's this convoluted bracket that i attach to my tripod I basically screw that into the tripod and then you can just angle this phone holder so that you can record the back of your camera and it's all held tight just by this one turn here so you turn that now it's rigid the whole thing's rigid and then this has got a little ball head on it here so that is a hawk lock ball head and this whole thing is made by leo photo and this thing is a ulanzi phone holder so it adjusts to whatever phone you've got so that's a that's a new acquisition i was advised to buy this by this youtuber thank you very much for the advice there and i think that's pretty much all i've got should we have a look at your bag now look? yeah let's have a look oh, at mine have a look. i think you're gonna like it yeah what's that that's a hasselblad When did you get that? Last week. How did you get that? They got in touch. They got in touch with you? Yeah. Well, they were probably trying to get hold of me. Why would they contact you for this? Well, do you really want me to say on camera? 
you know I'm a better photographer than you. All right, so let's uh, let's see what else you've got in here. What's this? They're my unicorn oracle cards. What's that? It's a bag of my treasured crystals. Bag of crystals. What else? My unicorn drinking mug. Have you got a laptop there as well? Did Apple get in touch? It's my dream catcher. What's that do? Well, do you ever wonder why you've really good pictures lately? Actually, lately they haven't been that great, but uh, yeah, I mean, I guess so. What else you got? Can't believe Hasselblad sent you a camera, not me. Do you remember this? <laughs> what year did we buy that? Probably two years. It's in good shape still. I think that's at least three years old, love. Anyway, that's what's in my bag. It's fun. Can I can I have another look at that camera? That's what you want to see over all this stuff? Yeah. Oh. Okay. How long have you got that for then? A while. Could I can I give it a, Will you let me try it though? If you're a good boy. Oh I am, I will be, yeah. Oh. How many megapixels is this? A hundred. How much dynamic range? Fifteen stops. <laughs> I think that's enough for now. One more thing I want to mention about these Shimoda bags is the super tough material that they're made from, which I don't think is supposed to be waterproof, but I've used these bags in extremely soggy conditions and I've never once used the optional rain cover. <laughs> right, well, it's starting to get quite chilly. The fog's rolling in, so let's get back to the church and have some dinner, shall we? Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please give it the old thumbs up. Don't forget to tickle my bell and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye. How many megapixels is this? 17. <laughs> why did they contact you and not me? I think we know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. I hope you can use it. We'll see. <laughs> will you let me try it though? If you're a good boy. Oh, I am. I will be. Yeah. I think that's enough for now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will be. Yeah. We'll see. I will. I am. I am a good boy. <laughs>